today. Hi. Like, Hi. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Happy Is that cool? Yep. Yeah. I know we have. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Today is the final Wednesday of the school year. The final video announcements episode of the school year, but it's the first day of June, 2022, which brings us to our final month of this school year. Welcome to this episode of the final 2021-2022 episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Hadley. And hello all, I'm Hanin, and happy final days of school. After today, we have two more full days of school fun. Tomorrow, June 2nd, is our special awards ceremony video during first bell, getting yearbooks, then off to fun fun day, 8th grade day, and 7th grade special movie fun day. Now let's all stand, place our right hand over our heart, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, and please be seated. Remember, if you pre-ordered your yearbook, you will get it tomorrow morning during first bell. And if you did not order one and want one, you can buy one from Ms. Spielman in room 246 until they are gone tomorrow. They are $40 cash or check written to the Sycamore Junior High. Looking forward to getting mine and collecting my friends and teachers' messages through the, throughout the day. Yep, I've got my Sharpie ready. Now over to our national day. We have a lot of important national days today. We have National Scoliosis Awareness Month, National Say Something Nice Day, and Pride Month. So we have short facts about each of these. Since scoliosis is difficult to detect, it's more important for children to get screened. Scoliosis can get worse if untreated. Ever overheard someone saying compliments are a gift? Well, that may be true. In a study where participants' brains were scanned using an MRI, they discovered that compliments lead to similar reactions in the re reward areas of the brain. As receiving monetary gifts, this suggests that social awards can feel just as good as monetary awards. Pride Month is largely credited as being started by activist Brenda Howard. Known as the mother of pride, Brenda organized special days, parades, and marches to, ev to eventually be morphed into what we now know as the New York City Pride March, and was the first of similar parades and marches across the world. Today we are celebrating Tom Holland. He's best known for his role in the new Spider-Man movies. Amy Schumer, who's a famous comedian, and Morgan Friedman, who's almost recognized who is most recognized for his appearance in well-regarded motion picture movies as an American actor. Now over to our wonderful Mr. Harris. Hey, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to my and your last video announcement. You won't be seeing me after today, so we'll get to that later. All right, as mentioned earlier, if you want to get a yearbook, we do have a few extra copies. Those are on sale for $40. That's four zero. Check or cash. Checks are written out to Sycamore Junior High. You need to see Miss Spielman in room 246. She's only got a few of those, so if you want one and you didn't order one, you need to bring your money to get one. That's $40. Checks payable to Sycamore Junior High. Check that school email over the summer. Last time I'm going to tell you that. Last time I'm going to tell you a lot of things. So check that for important updates about sports and all that other stuff. Library books, get them in. They need to be in today. We got two fun activities tomorrow, eighth grade day and a seventh grade movie day. If you've got overdue stuff, you won't be watching. All right, just letting you know. And last but not least, if you missed the tennis meeting that took place during Flex Bell this morning, boys and girls tennis meeting for high school, all right, I think for anybody, excuse me, for anybody, if you missed that boys and girls tennis meeting, you need to go see Coach Teets and get information for him from that meeting. All right, now I got some people, some special people. I'm going to bring into the camera over here. I got people behind the scenes. Come on in, peoples. These are all the fantastic people who help put on your news crew and make all of these daily announcements possible. Um, I know sometimes you guys didn't appreciate some of the stuff they did, but they did a lot of great stuff here at the school. I want to say thank you to guy, thank you to all of these guys for making me look good on film because that takes a lot of work. But thank you guys. Everybody have a great summer, and we'll see you next year. Peace. Now, special tribute to teachers retiring this year and or moving on to new places and new endeavors. Retiring this year are Miss Connie Merle from the lunchroom area. From the World or Global Lang Language Department, we have the teacher Miss Sa Sandra Torp, special education teacher Miss Kim Bryant, and our fourth retiree for this year is Miss Lynn Stubblepine from the art department. 
We wish all of our retirees a happy and enjoyable retirement and good luck with your new and life endeavors. Yes, good luck retirees and also good luck to those moving on to new jobs, moving to other states, moving on to other careers, or moving on to new life endeavors. Um, I'm here with Connie Merrill. All right, and um, our first question for you is, how would you describe your time at the junior high? I've really enjoyed it, uh, meeting all the new kids that comes in each year and uh, interacting with the kids and, and my job and my coworkers. Are you upset about leaving? I'm a little leery about it because, like I said, this 26 years I've been here, mm -hmm. so that's a long time to be doing the job and then all of a sudden just not have a job so uh, but I'm looking forward to enjoying the summer yeah and what's one piece of advice you would give to the staff and students here at Sycamore Junior High uh, continue enjoying your job and that's what really matters enjoying your job enjoying the kids and having a good time all right thank you hi I'm Khadija and I'm here with Madame Torp Okay, so first question is, what is your favorite memory out of all the your years of teaching here at the junior high? Oh wow, um, I have a lot of memories. Um, I think one of my favorites is, um, we ha I had a class and they, they filmed a, a little show about stereotypes of French people versus stereotypes of Americans and they, it was pretty funny. So <laughs> that was probably one of my favorites. I bet, it sounds funny. <laughs> Okay, our second question is, are you upset about leaving the junior high? I'm sad to be leaving the students and all the staff because I have loved it here and loved all my classes, but I am looking forward to having more free time, spending it with my family, traveling, and, and sleeping later, all those fun things. <laughs> yeah, so that's what retirement's all about, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Definitely. Okay, and the last question is, do you have any advice for the staff members here or the students? Mm -hmm. um, my advice is to be kind. <laughs> Treat others the way you would like to be treated, and that's the advice I have. So far, so many people have said that. Be kind. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Khadija, and that was my interview with Madame Torp. And we wish you the best of luck. Merci. <laughs> All right. I'm Savannah, and I'm here with uh, Lynn Stubblebine, Mrs. Stubblebine. All right. Um, what is your favorite memory of your teaching career here? At oh, boy. Um, well, one thing that comes to mind is the Big Pig gig. Um, I help with the students to guide them with working on it and painting it and designing it. It's the pig that's in the um, lobby, in the old lobby there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, um, do you feel upset about leaving the Sycamore Junior High? A little. I have mixed feelings. I do. I'm going to miss everybody. I really enjoyed teaching here through all the, all the years. But I'm looking forward to my retirement, um, being with my family more, and I have a new grandchild on the way, so I'm excited about that. Do you have any advice for the staff or students here? Oh boy. Um, just uh, take one day at a time, um, enjoy the time that you have together, and uh, try to look on the brighter side of things. All right, thank you. Um, that was my interview with? Uh, Mrs. Stubblebine. All right, uh, enjoy your retirement. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, what's your name? Kim Bryant. How would you describe your time at the junior high? I would say my time at the junior high has been challenging and fun and um, a good place to work for the last 21 years. Are you upset about leaving the junior high? I'm not upset about leaving. I look forward to the, the new things that I'm going to do in the future. I am. I will miss my friends and the students, but I know I'll, I'll be able to come back and visit them. And finally, do you have any advice for the staff or students here? I think to the students, uh, remember to persevere. Uh, this has been a challenging time, but I know that you have great things ahead of you. And to the staff, I'd say uh, the same. Persevere and help each other and be there for one another. Thank you. Now, what is for lunch today? For lunch today, we will have the burrito bowl. We'll also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Goodbye, everybody. It's been great working with you all this year. Yes, goodbye and see you all around. If you see any of us news crew members around the school, make sure to wave us a friendly hello. We'll definitely appreciate it. Now for the joke of the day. What? Why did the kid throw a clock out the window? Why? To see time fly. <laughs> <laughs> Go Waves. Go Waves!
Go! Go!